<laughs> hi. Let me say hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, so guys, today my mommy dragged me for a party that I have no interest in. Simply no interest. But mommy, why did you drag me? I just want a companion. <laughs> you have to. I have to. Wow. Because you are sleeping at home, you are doing nothing. About this. It's better you follow me. To see. To see what? Engagement ceremony. <laughs> eh, nah. Another, another, another view apart from your own and see how other people did their things. Eh. So, then oh. when you get there, you enjoy yourself too, man. And eat free food. Free food, <laughs> free drinks. And uh, you laugh, that free laughing, free enjoyment. <laughs> okay, so that's basically what I'm doing today, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be talking later about something really important. It's about this Nigeria and how they go abroad and mess up our names. But I don't have the strength. God have mercy. <laughs> Honestly, so I'm going to talk about that later very soon. So I'll catch you people in a bit. Let us get to the venue and settle down. Then I'm going to just quickly discuss with you guys about what's your opinion, what do you think. I don't understand. This really, really, I never thought it would really affect me the way Nigeria has put our names abroad. But right now, I'm really feeling somehow about it. So I want to just rant and talk about it. Don't let that one concern you. You pray for Nigeria. I pray for Nigeria. Yes, so. You make anyway. Nigeria better. Yeah, I will try my it best. It will start from you and me. Hey. To make the Nigerian great. Oshie. Yeah. <laughs> Motivation. Anyhow, guys, this is my hair. I'm still thinking of wearing a wig, but I'm not sure. But this is what I did to the hair. I just made it sleep. But I like it like this. But my mom was like, I should wear a wig so I can look gay girl. More cute. Gay girl. So I'll decide later on. Hey guys, so we are at the venue and I want to just quickly talk to you guys about some certain things that have been disturbing me. So recently on the news, you've been hearing that they've been arresting a lot of Nigerians abroad for fraud and internet, internet fraud especially, and other, you know, other crimes, majorly internet fraud and all of that. And it really saddens my heart because I know for a fact that a lot of Nigerians move abroad and they actually do excellently well. Some even go as well. When they study abroad, they come out with excellent grades. Some are very, very excellent in athletics and all of that. So I wonder why the names of those who are not good are being very, very much publicized. And I get the fact that I'm not going to blame the country for publicizing that is because, like it or not, Nigerians actually did. They actually did the crime. But I just wonder why you would leave your country and go to another man's country and then carry the same i don't know carry on the bad attitude or something like that i mean people leave the country to be better to become better human beings and people actually succeed with legitimate means so why would you just go abroad and honestly i don't even know what to say because it really really saddens my heart and nigerians are beginning to seem like people that are not good this is the image that the media is showcasing to every person in different countries this is the image people are seeing of this our country and it's not meant to be so now we're being we're being tagged as a bad country we're being tagged at the airport for extra security extra screening and it's so so frustrating because the, the names of few nigerians the attitude of few nigerians it's now um, reflecting on the rest of us i mean we are a country of over 150 or 60 million people and just 80 something nigerians are bad and then they tag the whole country as a whole as being bad and it is really really depressing and sad now we're hearing that, that there are more checks for us um i'm sure people of that country where they publicize this news are now stereotypical about nigerians so it's really sad people are, not, people are getting to uh people are not becoming proud of their country anymore and i don't know how to talk about how to say this i mean a, a friend of mine a serial, a serial the guy is actually from Syria alone 
he was coming to Nigeria for the first time and he was talking to me about it and it was really, really, he was so excited, guys. He was really excited. And then he got to the airport and he was changing dollars to Naira. Now, I don't know where he changed the money, but apparently he had a shortage of about 12,000 or 15,000 Naira when he eventually realized and counted his money. So, for example, he wanted to change a certain of amount of dollars that would cost him that would be equivalent to 30,000 naira in uh, 30,000 in naira and then he realized that he actually was holding 15,000 naira instead of 30,000 naira and he was actually being and it was actually scammed now i just felt really really bad because this was the guy's first impression of nigeria and he was like he did it was like oh it's cool it's fine but i know that that, that was not fine it was not fine if i went to a country and I, at the airport i was immediately scammed I would not give a good review about the country. It would break my heart to know that I just got to the airport and I haven't even done anything. You all just scammed me. <laughs> so it was really, really sad when he told me that story. And I have to just apologize and keep apologizing on behalf of the country. I've been saying, you know what, we're still going to have fun. You know, there are many, many things to see, many good. I still kept on convincing him. And it was so, so wrong. I mean, why would you just... I don't know. I think he went to all this... Um, all this um, roadside um, people that change money, I don't even know. I wish he had told me before he went to change the money. I honestly wish he had told me. I just wish people would realize that when they go abroad in search of greener pastures for better opportunities, there's absolutely nothing wrong in doing that. If you go through the right channels and legitimate means, there is nothing wrong with that. But when you're going abroad to any country, just know that it is not only about you. You're representing the whole country exactly yeah, representing the whole country and this is a situation whereby if you do so well your name wouldn't will, will get so publicized or tagged if you know what i mean but when something bad happens obviously the media rushes the media loves drama the media loves um a, a good story they, they lost love it so when good things happen you can see an american nigerian or african american or african this one they don't just put nigerian but when anything bad happens just to them nigeria <laughs> just tag it so they know that it's this country so it's not only about it it's not just about you it's about you representing the country you're from there is nothing wrong in looking going to a country for greener pastures there is nothing wrong in it but just do it with legitimate means there are many many legitimate ways to make your money to you know stand out and all of that i just wish that the people these, these people a lot of young people start getting aware and stop being so desperate to make money without patience and all of that because i feel like that's one of the reasons why people just go abroad i just go through um they just try to cut corners and it's not even necessarily abroad some people are i are, are living in nigeria and there's coming people abroad this is also part of the internet fraud thingy people that actually want to go to america or whatever for good or legitimate reasons are now being second guessed or sub subject to a lot of check-ins in the airport just because of the actions of few nigerians i mean it's not fair to judge all of us based off some few people's actions but i can't really blame the media i can't really blame the media they love a good story and nigerians abroad that go through legitimate means make it trust me the hustle in us is real the hustle spirit we have is real like i don't think any country has that much also that we have in nigeria so definitely we are going to succeed wherever we go i for one have the opportunity to go abroad and make it i am going to take it but not illegitimately i'm not that i'm not that impatient i'm not that i'm not rushed i'm not i mean i don't even know what to say man but it just actually saddens my heart i always just come here and rant with to you guys actually i didn't even plan this video it was very very spontaneous i always just talk about it and let it and let it out to know to tell you guys what do you guys think about this thing i'm sure a lot of people in nigeria have already heard about i've already heard about the um the story about it something nigerians you know blah 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 and i, I want you guys to know that this, this is not going to this is not supposed to be our story this is not meant to be our story we are actually a great country and i'm not going to let the actions of um some few nigerians determine the 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 choice or the way they look at the rest of us i'm going to be a difference i have friends that live abroad i have friends that are in other countries and i try to change the narrative 
so i want each and every one of us to also try to change the na narrative that is one thing this channel is going to be all about showcasing the beauty that we as nigerians have because i don't like the way the internet portrays us i hate it so much my phone is ringing <sighs> Sorry about that guys, I was doing a phone call. So anyways, I guess I want to just wrap this whole thing up by saying that we shouldn't get discouraged by the actions of few Nigerians. I mean, there are still good people in this country out there and you as a good person try to showcase as much beauty of the country as you can and as much of a, as, as be a good person. You know, I, I don't know if you get what I mean, like you be a different narrative if you are come across a foreigner or or whatever or you're in a funny country and people are trying to stereotype that oh you're a nigerian blah 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 nah just prove them wrong show them that nah it's not all nigerians the same way in usa they have bad people they have gun violence and um, all of that it's the same way nigeria also has have like some few bad eggs so why should we now stereotype um only our country i mean every country has issues every country it's not no country is perfect no country is perfect irrespective of, i don't i don't accept or i don't um i don't um accept the behaviors of those um in diaspora i also know that for a fact that every country has has their own issues they're trying to deal with so why should only nigeria be stereotyped i mean usa has their own issues gun violence and all of that so i, I mean but we should prove, do a different narrative. As a person, you prove one person wrong. The one person, you know, you prove another person wrong. Another person proves another person wrong. And from that, we're going to change the narrative. So this is for you guys abroad. Nigeria's in diaspora. Please maintain a good attitude and behavior. Know that it is not only you you're representing. You're representing the whole country. Be a better person. Okay? And if you guys have any opinions, if you're in Nigeria living abroad, tell us, do you... Do you um? face any stereotype people just say nigerians are bad or you have not i've never experienced any stereotype let me know in the comment section what is your opinion about this issue with internet for the nigerians have you uh, and if you're a foreigner watching this video did, have you had any bad experience with nigerians let me know let me know good or bad let me just know in the comment section i mean i want us to really really interact and you know try and portray the good side of nigeria also like on the on on the internet you know so anyways guys please stop the terror stereotype 80 something nigerians does not equal 100 and some um, 100 and something million nigerians please the actions of few people do not does not determine the entirety of a nation please thank you <laughs> so anyway this is all i have to say i hope you enjoyed this rant and this video and if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe like comment and share and i will see you all in my next video bye